Welcome back to the Port Sessions here in Hattiesburg, Mississippi uh, with Daryl Havard at T-Bones, uh, one of our favorite places here and a big supporter of uh, South City Records as well as uh, the music community here. We wouldn't uh, be quite the great community we are without T-Bones. Thank you guys. I appreciate everything you do. Um, Daryl, that was a really cool tune, man. I thoroughly enjoyed that, man. Thank My you, ears are kind of hurting a little bit from, <laughs> from Brad hitting the, hitting the drums so loud. But yeah, that's cool. I'm old. But, uh, <laughs> you know, man, we were just talking in between, man. We were talking about uh, all things New Orleans. And now you spent some time on the mean streets of the Bourbon Street. Indeed. That, that must have been kind of cool, man, because you get to really hone your chops, man. Because, I mean, a lot of people don't realize those guys on Bourbon Street are uh, sick players, They're beasts, man. yeah. yeah. Yeah, and you got some stamina too. Yeah, exactly, and and I think uh, you know, I, it. I try to take something from everything that I do as a side man or, or otherwise, and that was the lesson learned from from Bourbon Street. Uh, you know, actually going back to T Bone. T Bone is one of those guys. I mean, he's, I guess, uh, thirty years plus my elder and the, the man will keep just keep going you know like the, the, the bar owner will have to come up to him and say stop you know the, the, the gig's over man here's your check get out of here you know and you know we used to mope and grind yeah, I'm sorry uh, you know whine about you know uh, how long we would play but yeah Bourbon Street man was you know seven or eight at night until sometimes three four five in the morning you know like especially special events like when we won the super bowl and all that yeah. stuff dude we didn't go crazy, home until the sun came up you know and uh i didn't either that's any consolation <laughs> <laughs> oh well yeah i mean who would want to after <laughs> yeah, that right. man but uh you know but yeah, yeah that's um yeah you know most of my um time as a bass player uh, up to the Bourbon Street was spent either on an instrument like this or, or just playing some very simple, you know, basic stuff. And uh, Bourbon Street actually developed a lot of technique. Uh, I wouldn't say it wasn't like I sat at home and practiced these super bass chops techniques, but just having to do that night after night and do it without being exhausted at the end of the yeah, gig, you know. Right, yeah. And then you do a five night run of that, and you know, uh, you know, by Monday after your, all your shifts are over, it's just like you don't want tendonitis or anything. So yeah, there's there's little finer points, not necessarily of, about like being a monster, you know, musician as much as just. You know, uh, playing with with uh, playing lightly and you right, know, right, right, you right. know, and then not to mention the showbiz part of it. Your whole your whole job, and I guess this is true with any bar, but it's particularly on Bourbon Street. Your whole the whole reason you're there is to get people in the bar to spend money, and you have to keep them there. And there's a very quick turnaround if you play the wrong song. You know, the band leader is in, under a lot of pressure to make sure that the next song that you play doesn't dump the house you know right. so it's a lot of pressure and uh you know also a lot of pressure not to screw the song up, you know so <laughs> yeah, for the right. same reasons but yeah well you know you were saying earlier um that i loved how you put it that that you became a songwriter because you were a, you were, you've been a sideman and mm -hmm. you felt like you weren't able to really get exactly what you wanted out there as a sideman so you so you, you kind of changed you morphed into a songwriter in addition to that well you know and there again learning from everyone I've played with learning picking up little pieces here and there from everyone I play with um, I don't know I, I guess I felt like I, I, I have some things to say too you know mm -hmm. and uh, just kind of out of necessity started sitting down with the, the pen and pad and you know and working out my own ideas and you know I'm I, I feel like a baby when it comes to songwriting but you know you, you get a good idea here and there and I try to run with it sure you know? um, 
But, you know, even the seasoned pros, I guess, have, you know. <laughs> there's, there's a time for harvest and time for fowler, exactly, right? Exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I really love the idea that you were talking about this song, man, yeah, um, called Let Me Count the Ways. And I just, I really like the way you, you, you sum this up, man. And you want to tell us a little bit about that? Set the song yeah. out before you play it. Yeah, my girlfriend of three years uh, and I, um, you know, it's just like any couple, we, we, we have our arguments. And, and, and quite a few of them got to the point of, you know, what do we have in common? <laughs> you know, and you I've know, never heard that. Well, yeah, well, you know, and, and it's, it's always in that moment where you just draw a blank, like, right? Uh, and then, of course, they said, you know, that's it. we don't have anything in common. Why are we together? You know, and it's just like, uh, okay, I need to make amends for this one, man. You yeah, know, right. so <laughs> Shadows on Bourbon Street at five in the morning. I'm gonna write you a song to make up for that one. You know, but uh, sorry, baby. <laughs> sorry, but, uh, it's honest, man. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I, you know, my girlfriend is uh, is quite the muse for me, and uh, I've actually written a, at least uh, coming up on a handful of tunes for her, and this awesome, is probably man. her favorite. So I promised her I'd, I'd include it awesome, <laughs> in man. the well, set. You know, she well, really digs it. Well, I look forward but, to hearing it, man. Um, we'll be back in just a second with Daryl Havard with uh, "Let Me Count the Ways" live on the Port Sessions here in Hattiesburg, Mississippi. Let me count the way 